Welcome back to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Ross Sutherland. We're going to be talking today about our veterans right here in the Salem area and what's being done for them to connect them to the community better. Would you please welcome with us in studio Andrew Zobris. He is Workforce Salem Veteran Representatives. Hello, Andrew. Jim Chapman, he is the Workforce Salem Business and Employment Specialist. And Neil Johnson, you are the ResCare Workforce Salem Business Services Consultant. Thank you for coming on Inside. What really got me excited was this career fair and resource event for veterans that's going to be held this month in May. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, thanks for having us, Wendy. Yeah, Andy Zobrist here um, <laughs> started this event um, here about three months ago, and so we've made it a quarterly event. And the upcoming event will take place on Wednesday, May 24th from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Broadway Commons here in Salem. How many uh, businesses and perhaps are going to be represented for this? You know, we want to have about 30 businesses um, in attendance and then looking to have about 15 community resources involved. Sounds like it's a real accessible kind of thing. It isn't like going in for a job interview or, or that. It's it's a, job, a career fair, so That's people go right. in, get information, and it's a very friendly environment. Yeah. Jim, Jim, what can they expect at a fair like this? Uh, you'll know, have a chance to meet with employers, with other service mm -hmm. representatives, um, with uh, us from WorkSource, uh, and some of the federal agencies as well. Neil, what is ResCare? Could you give me a quick mm -hmm. thumbnail sketch so of that? So ResCare, we're a partner with WorkSource Oregon, and mm -hmm. um, we basically have the same mission, which is to make sure that businesses and uh, employees are being connected together. And so our, our tools um, are pretty similar. We offer some one-on-one -on -one, uh, career coaching and we have some scholarship funding and some on-the-job training funding. So that's um, kind of the similarities that we all have. What is the most effective way to get a veteran with a set of skills connected with the right business resource? The first step is for the veteran themselves to come down to the work source mm -hmm. over at you know, 605 Cottage Street. Mm -hmm. um, come down to the work source, meet with our staff, you know, um, the core staff, and then the core staff will refer them to the veteran specialists upstairs. Mm. Um, they have to meet certain criteria to be eligible for um, our intensive services. You know, you have to have served a certain period of time and um, you have to have some sort of barrier to employment that we can talk about and figure out uh, without going into any detail on that. But, um, you know, once we've established that, then you know, we will make a plan and help them out and hopefully get them connected to an employer. Do we have any success stories that you like to think about mm -hmm. without mentioning names, but sort of areas that really seem to be working? Yes, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started uh, uh, back in uh, November of last year. I went into WorkSource. Uh, I began with just a, a simple job search. I was referred to uh, the Disabled Veterans out, uh, Outreach uh, Specialist upstairs, Andy and uh, his partner up there, Corey, and uh, kind of went from there. They acted as case managers for me and uh, directed me to other specialized services that we had there, ResCare downstairs, um, and kind of went from there. So what do you think about this kind of career fair and resource idea? I think it's a great idea. It gives us a chance to uh, talk to veterans that probably wouldn't come into WorkSource otherwise mm. because they don't know about us. Mm. Uh, it has, uh, gives uh, the veterans there a chance to meet with uh, some of the folks from different agencies around. So it, it brings all the resources together and it allows the people who need the, uh, the services to connect to those people who provide them. Looks like it's not just recent veterans, it's any veterans, right? I think some people would say, oh, well, that's, I'm a veteran, but that's not there, that's not something that is for me, but, but it's it really is for, for everybody. Them. It is yeah, for everybody. that's wonderful. Well, I would encourage, again, anybody that served in the military, regardless of how long, uh, to come down and talk to us because there's a lot of people that served in the military, but because maybe they didn't go serve in combat uh -huh. or, you know, they served in the interwar period, you know, from the late 1970s and early 80s or something like that when there was nothing going on. And they may think that, well, you know, I'm not a veteran because I didn't go to war or there wasn't going on, anything going on. Right. But in reality, those folks are eligible for most of the services, if not all of the services that we offer. Well, it sounds like a very optimistic and uh, 
rich way to approach people with ideas and connect them all up. Thank you so much for joining us today on Insight, and thank you for telling us your personal story, Jen. That Thanks was for wonderful. Having me. And thank you for joining us today on Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Ross Sutherland. We'll see you again. I love it. Uh, there's been so many people coming in and I got to meet a lot of vets and a lot of organizations that are hiring other people and uh, I hope that uh, we can continue this and get more uh, sponsors. This has absolutely been a success for vets. We had um, the first hour was dedicated to veterans only and so we had sent out um, electronic notifications to the local veteran community and we had about 40 of them show up. And that's a great number, especially considering the state of the economy and the low unemployment rate. Um, we were not expecting a huge turnout, but it has really been successful. I really like the fact that they started this job career off by opening it up exclusively to veterans in the morning. Um, we see a lot of great um, employment traits coming from our vets. They know how to work hard. They know how to come to work on time. All those are skills that every employer is looking for. Yes, vets do have a lot of skills. They went through all that training and uh, a lot of them also got a lot of schooling even afterwards and um, but are still having trouble in our economy today to find those types of jobs so this is why uh, uh, brother Andy reached out and said that let's uh, put this together. Vets uh, more than anything they need uh, jobs that will pay a living wage um, that is number one a lot of the veterans that we're currently working with are either homeless or at risk of homelessness and you know giving somebody you know a temporary boot you know assistance with their rent or some other temporary benefit like that is nothing compared to giving a veteran a job that they can work at our program is for veterans who are homeless or in danger of becoming homeless who are looking for work and we can help with pretty much anything related to getting a job, whether it's bus passes, whether it's um, helping you with your resume and job search, connecting you with employers. We also pay for training, so if there is a first aid class or a training that would benefit you in finding employment, then that is our main goal. We're going to be doing this uh, at least every six months. We expect to be doing the next one sometime in the winter, probably January or February. One of the things that we like to say at WorkSource is that there's no wrong doors. If a veteran comes down and needs some kind of resource, if they, regardless if it's uh, employment related or they need information about benefits or information about anything else is in terms of a, a need, um, come down and see us and we'll at least point them in the right direction. They can come down to our office at 605 Cottage Street, Northeast, here in Salem. They can also visit our website as www.worksourceoregon.org. And they can also reach us on the phone at 503-378-4846. And then just select option two and they'll get connected to the right person. To see the difference from when they first walk in the door to when they are out there working is just amazing. And we've had them come back to us, you know, since then and talk about how much it's changed their lives. Because it allows them then to get into housing and it allows them to get into, back into the community and back into doing what they love to do. So having that opportunity to talk with vets and getting to know them and seeking them out as employees has been really, really wonderful.